going, guys? All right, so this evening, we're going to be making tortellini. And we're going to make it my style. I found this recipe on Facebook. It's, it's going to be great. So, we got a can of Alfredo sauce. We've got some Prego roasted garlic marinara sauce. One pound of hamburger. A bag of tortellini, which does not need to be cold or frozen. It comes just like this. We're going to try it out. And then also, we're going to have garlic bread with the. Wait, I got to show that. Okay. With the garlic butter. All right. Garlic so butter, fancy. I've got. You're going to preheat your oven to 400 degrees for the bread. We got our water boiling, so we're going to pause the video while this is getting done. Alright, so we're going to take our ground chuck and we're going to plop it into a pot. Plop and discard this. Do not, don't cook this. I did that once. It's not good. special utensil tool here and we're going to break this up. Wait, I'm coming. Coming. Look at that polished floor. Now if you want to uh, learn how to do this, you have to spend at least uh, four years in Italy before they even allow you to touch the special tool. Do you? Yes. It's at least four years in Italy. I think he's wrong. So you're going to break this up and brown it up. This looks so satisfying. Alright. Let's turn this heat up. Let's get it hot in here. <laughs> it's getting hot in her. The adults know the rest of the song. Would kids know that? No. Would no. I know? No. Or is it inappropriate? It is inappropriate. Alright, so this is going to brown up. We got our water boiling. Our oven's still preheating. Awesome. Let's pause the video. Got our uh, fresh churned garlic uh, butter. Fancy. Going... Yes, very fancy. We're going to spread it. This is going to spread. It's a little... Uh... Gonna spread it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. See, I, when I was in Italy, they taught me how to use the special tool, but they did not teach me how to spread garlic butter on bread. That uh, was uh, I was I was out sick that day. So. Oh really? Yeah. So you're just gonna kind of spread this butter. On here, hey, look. My my sous chef might have to uh, assist on the spreading of the butter properly. Show the sous chef. Everybody's wondering who the sous chef is. Who is the sous chef? Mama. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. See, see. I I, I was out sick that day when they were teaching how to spread butter on bread. Sous. What is it? Sous chef. Sous chef, Daddy needs help. Flash mom. So while we wait for the sous chef, why don't we go ahead and pause the video and we will pick it back up once we are getting ready to brown the meat some more. So I just threw trash away, that's what's happening. So because I was, like I said earlier, I was out sick on the day when we were taught how to spread butter on uh, bread. Which I don't think is true, but okay, continue. Okay, commentary. I uh, got the assistance from my great chef here, Nicole, and she is doing an excellent job of spreading that butter on the uh, bread. I was, I was apparently not putting enough butter on the, on the bread. Oh no, there was plenty. <laughs> you just gotta shave it so it's nice and thin. Were y'all oh, partners? That's the technique. You gotta shave it. You don't just chunk it on and try to spread it. Right. See, once again, this is why I have an excellent sous chef. 
Every great world renowned chef has a sous chef, and I have the best one in town. So while she is finishing that up. Just in town. <laughs> I'm going to continue to brown up the meat. Our water's still boiling, and my videographer is going to pause. Alright, so we've got our water pot, it is boiling. So now we're going to add our noodles. So, what we're going to do, we brought four to six quarts of water to a boil. And now we're going to add our noodles. Uh, yep. Yeah. Add the pasta to boil for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally for more tender pasta. Boil an additional minute. Drain well and serve immediately with your favorite whatever sauce. Okay, so we got boiled, so now we're going to add... I think that said bur... bar... Bolina. Alright, what, whoever made this is wanting us to use their sauce, but we are using Prego and Baratoli Alfredo sauce. Alright, so we're going to put 10 minutes on our timer. 10 minutes start. This is still browning up. Oh, sorry. So, now we got our prego. We've got our meat browned up. I went ahead and drained it. Didn't want to bore you guys with that. So now we're going to take our prego, roasted garlic and herb. We're going to pour that. Yuck. No, it's not, not, it's not that I'm saying that this, that this idea is... Are, are you questioning? Are you are you questioning my Italian recipe, my authentic Italian recipe? No, I'm just judging that when the prego came out, it looked like it was puking. Oh. Right. Now we're gonna add our Bertoli Alfredo sauce. Beautiful. I know. Look, I made a little design. I mean that. See, that's what they teach you on day 46 of Italian cooking school is how to make designs and sauce. How long were you at um, Italian? Uh, for five years. Uh, let's, see here. Well, let's use this one, our Pioneer Woman spatula. Our special Pioneer Woman spatula. See? Uh, Pioneer Woman. Woohoo! Sorry, gonna, they didn't see it. We're going to stir our sauce and to, with our meat. It's going to look good later. It just doesn't look good. It's going to look great. It's going to be beautiful. So you're going to keep stirring it. And you, as you can see, it's kind of turning an orange, which is what you want. Because when you add red and white, it's going to make orange. No, so that makes pink. It makes pink? So would you consider this more yeah. pink or orange sauce? I mean, then you... No, 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 wait. If, if you were actually adding colors, white adds a little more lighter to it and yeah, yeah. lighter red equals mm -hmm. pink. Uh, but did you spend five years in Italian cooking school? Yes. You did? Mm -hmm. You're nine. So when, when you were four years old, you were in Italian cooking school? No. no. When I was in mom's stomach. I was actually at... No, not at four years old you weren't in mama's stomach. <laughs> no, but when I was in her stomach, I was not actually in her stomach. I put a ball in her stomach and left. <laughs> okay. This is very interesting. All right. So we're going to continue. We've got less than a minute on our noodles. And the bread, so the bread's in there at 400 degrees. We're just going to take a look at it. So let's take a look at this bread here. Let's get the, the good shot on that bread. Yeah, buddy, look at that. That's looking good right there. Nice and toasty. The garlic butter's melted. That's exactly what you want. So I would say probably about 10 minutes in the oven for that bread, okay? All right, so also one thing you got to remember is as the tortellini is cooking you need to stir it every once in a while pink we have pink stir. we have pink you have what 
that burner was pink and oh, red. That's because it was hot. It's heating up. No, 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 no. On camera, it's pink. Look. Oh, that's interesting. Look. Okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, pink. It is Woo! Pink. pink. Wait, I'm a pink supporter. Mm-hmm. Even though I like white, but... It is the timer for the noodles. So I'm going to drain the noodles. You guys don't need to see that on camera. Everybody knows how to drain noodles. So my videographer is going to go ahead and pause. And then we're going to add the noodles into our awesome sauce here. We're rolling. Now you need to come over here. Sorry. Doggy. Doggy. All right. So. I drain the pasta, we add the pasta into our awesome sauce here. Blech. We're gonna stir. Sorry, I'm a picky eater. Stir that all in. It's dripping. On the bread. There we go. Stir that into our awesome sauce here. I think this is going to be an excellent meal. We're going to check on our bread. We want to make sure that we put a hot pad down. Oh, really, bread. mister? <laughs> yeah, so we want to make sure we put a hot pad down. What about Don't put bread? it on the burner that's still hot. Put it off to the side over here. All right, let's get our bread out. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Be very careful when you pick it up. Yes, be very, very careful. As for a grown up. It is a thousand degrees in there. It's hotter than. Bon appetit. I give you an authentic Italian style dinner. I hope everybody has a great night. Please make sure you, uh, you share this great video with everybody. And uh, we'll see you all later. Have a blessed day. Alright guys, post meal uh, comments. So, the sauce was very good. Um, it's very, it, it's not thick because you, you're adding two sauces. But what's great about it is you're left with sauce and you take your bread and you just scoop it in and try to get the dog from not eating it. Back up. But yeah, you can just like take your bread and just scoop it in there and look at that. Yeah, good stuff.